Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Jamie Fenn. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do this futuristic cell phone effect in DaVinci Resolve Fusion, and this is what it looks like. Real quick before we get started, a bunch of you asked me how I did that rotating ring effect in my watch teleport transition tutorial. Today I'm going to cover a bunch of different methods and you can apply the same techniques to achieve that same effect. So with that said, let's get started. Alright, so here I have a clip of me holding my phone and I also have some heads up display clips that I will actually link down in the description. I found them for free online, so feel free to download those to add in to your video. The first thing we want to do is find the spot that we want our visual effects to come in. So I'm gonna pick the point right where I shake my phone, which is right about there. And I'm gonna push M on my keyboard for marker. And that creates a little blue marker. Then I'm gonna to come to the end of the clip and find the spot where I want them to stop right there. Push M on my keyboard as well. Then I'm going to just drag in some of these effects. And I'm just gonna trim them to the point of where these markers are. And if you have multiple elements, you want to just put them on its own video channel. You don't want to put them side by side or else in Fusion it will be funky. So just drag them up to where you want them to start and finish. Some of these are shorter, some of them are longer, but I'm just going to continue to put them on their own channels. All right. So if you have elements that go the entire length from marker to marker, that's great. You can kind of put them and time them in here however you would like. The next thing we want to do is highlight all these clips and right click and start a new Fusion clip. Make sure that playhead is over the clip and click on Fusion. All right, so what I wanna do is just basically delete all of these merge nodes and click on the median one, make sure that's connected to the media out. You can turn off the effects library, we don't need that right now. The first thing we want to do in the Fusion tab is do some tracking. Click on the median one and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in planner tracker. All right, so I'm actually gonna come to the middle right about here and I'm going to select the screen just like that. Next, I'm going to click set and under tracker, we want to select hybrid point area. Leave the motion type on perspective and track to the end. All right, so I already passed the point where I shook my phone, so I know the elements are not gonna be there. So I'm gonna come back to just one frame before the tracking data started, and then now track to the point where I shook my phone in the beginning. All right, I clicked stop on the tracker, and the next thing we want to do is create a planner transform. You'll find this over on the right under the inspector. That will create a node up here, we want to hold down shift and drag the planner tracker out for now. We will use that, just not right now. So don't delete that. Now we wanna start adding in some heads up display elements. So we wanna click on median one and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in merge. Or you can click right here to add a merge node. As long as you have the uh, node before clicked and you select a node, it will automatically import it, which is really nice. Another thing we can do real quick is right click anywhere here in the node space and arrange tools to grid. That way it kind of just keeps things nice and pretty. So now what I want to do is just drag one of these medians. These are all of our elements and I'm just going to connect it to the planner transform. All right, so as you can see that this creates like a giant screen, it's basically attached to the phone, but we have this giant black space that's part of the original clip. And to get rid of that very easily is click on our merge node and come over to the apply mode and select screen. That'll get rid of that background and it'll just leave what we want. Next, what we can do is click on our median, which is our element, and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in transform. This will allow us to adjust it and move it around. So if we want to put it, let's say over here, there we go. I'm actually gonna rotate it just a slight bit, just like that, so it matches up with the phone. Not very much, just very minimal details. So now when we have our shake, boom, 
shows up. Here, I'll get rid of that. And now it's detached to our phone. So you can actually repeat the process. We can just copy and paste these nodes here like that. I hold down shift and drag and put the merge node here. And now we can just connect our next element to that transform. It will show up in the exact same spot. So you just have to make sure that you don't overlap them or if they are timed differently, you can make sure that they uh, just don't interfere with each other. And just continue to do that. As many elements as you have, you can just copy and paste those three, drag on top and connect another node, which is our element. And we can actually move this one over here. Like so. Pretty cool, right? And again, we'll repeat the same process for this last element. Copy and paste those three, drag it in, add it to the transform. So in the intro, I actually did a screen replacement on the iPhone screen. And remember how I said we were gonna use this planner tracker node? Well, if we just move the median out over here and connect that planner tracker node in between the merge node and the median out, we can take our world node and just connect it to that planner tracker. And instead of having just the original data like that, we can come up with the planner tracker selected, we can come up to the operation mode and select corner pin. And then what we can do is just drag each corner down to each corner of the cell phone screen like that and that will essentially do a screen replacement but it's all squished and it looks like poop so what we can do is click on that element add a crop so we'll hold down shift and press spacebar type in crop and with keep centered selected we can move the x size wide like that and you can adjust it to what you think looks good with your eyes so now we have the iPhone screen replaced. And as you can see, I only have that one shield element that's popped up right now just because that's the way I did the timing. And then the other one comes in, does that little animation. And then that one starts to come in. So you may notice that all of these heads up display elements are black and white. So what you can do is we can come under the first element, select it, Hold down shift and press spacebar and type in color and then select color corrector. Then all you have to do is just move this over here and select the color that you want. So if you like pink or blue, you can select whatever you want. So I'm just going to select this nice blue right here. And you can do that with each node here. So if you want to change the, the earth, you can. You can change the colors of, you know, for example, the code here. So for example, now we have that pink. The next thing I did, kind of like the cherry on the top to really sell this effect to make it look a little bit more 3D, is make the center screen replacement kind of flare out, you know, pop out from the phone. So for this example, the globe that I replaced the screen with, it's not exactly the best example. So what I'm going to do really quick is just swap out to a different heads up display element, which has a little bit more color and shows a little bit more detail. So in order to give this effect a little bit more of a 3D effect, what we want to do is select the planner tracker, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in rays. Right now, the rays are affecting this whole clip. So what we want to do is just select the inside of the screen. That way, you know, everything isn't just going crazy unless that's what you're going for. So what we need to do is actually select a planner transform node. Any of these will work. Just hold down command and press C to copy. Command V to paste, connect that to our rays, then select the planner transform and come up to this icon right here, which is the polygon tool. And instead of connecting it like that, we actually want to connect this to this input right here. Then what we want to do is select around our phone, a little bit outside of it, something that looks a little like that. And now we kind of have this like flare that's coming out of the phone, which is pretty cool. But just keep in mind, don't move the frames and then move these because it will actually start to keyframe the lines and we don't want that. The next thing we want to do is come over here to our soft edge and just turn this up a little bit. That way we don't have like a hard cut edge right here because that'll kind of look, you know, not as clean. And so now we have something that looks like this, which is pretty cool. It pops out. 
Now, here's the last thing we need to do. We need to do some keyframing on the rays. So what we want to do is actually come to the very beginning when I shake my phone, which is about right here. And we want to click on the rays node and then actually come up here to the inspector and select the center X and Y keyframe right here. And what we want to do is just kind of pick a point kind of like here in the middle that we want to keep the center point essentially centered. As I move the phone around, we actually have two keyframes. So I'm just going to kind of hold down my arrow keys. And as I move the phone, I want to keep this in the center. That way it kind of has a consistent look. And I'm just doing like five, 10 frames at a time, depending on how much movement my hand is doing. I'm just moving this center point around. And what we want to do is make our way all the way to the end of when the heads up display elements disappear. And that's how you do the futuristic cell phone effect. Hey, if you had fun with this tutorial, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and also check out this playlist right here. There's a ton of visual effects and transitions, and I think you'll really like it. I will see you later.